Hey YouTube, time for a fish room update. Uh, this is uh, February 2017. Alright YouTube, uh, we're going to start this uh, monthly fish room tour with the discus tank upstairs. Um, they seem to all be doing well. Thinking about making a few changes in this tank, also possibly moving it. You'll you'll see more about that when the time is right to show you why. Um, but yeah, things are going well overall. A few nip fins here and there. Um, This guy here has been getting beat up pretty good. So is this orange one. But yeah, overall things are doing pretty decent. Since my last update I did uh, get some uh, white sand, um, which I really like. The only problem is, is it shows uh, waste quite a bit more, so you got to keep on top of that. I just did a water change uh, last night actually, and that's how much waste has already gotten there. But anyway, that's how it goes. Not much more to say about the discus at this point. We'll go over here in the office real quick and show you Cheeto and the loaches. It's feeding time obviously for them, they're hungry. But he's doing good. If you're new to this channel, Cheeto is a Midas cichlid. That's the uh, common name, Amphilophus citronellus. And I've got about 15 clown loaches in here, ranging from, I don't know, four inches to six inches, or maybe even, this guy here maybe even is bigger than six inches, I'm not sure. But yeah, everything's going well in this tank. Over here is uh, my 90 gallon uh, shrimp tank um, it's not looking the greatest because I've not really been maintaining it a lot of the Monte Carlo is starting to come up it needs a good trim um, as far as algae and stuff like that though things have gotten a lot better in this tank I am battling scuds now which sucks so I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get rid of them another word for the scuds are lawn shrimp from what I understand but anyway um, I'll talk more about this tank in my next shrimp update. Alright, so heading downstairs. Um, first of all, I don't know if I showed this in my last video, but check out this sweet sign that uh, Doty made for me. Um, if you're interested in something like that, contact her on Facebook, and uh, I'm sure she could get you a good price uh, for something uh, similar to this. But I'm really liking it. It looks awesome in my fish room. Um, let's start just over on this side here, I guess. Um, I've got the uh, Hoga Boomerum grow outs. Still doing good. Still on the fence on whether or not I want to get rid of them. I've got somebody who's uh, interested in them if I do decide to get rid of them. Um, I'm just trying to figure out a few things as far as some uh, movement a little bit in the fish room. And then I'll be able to make a final decision on whether I want to keep these and grow them out or sell them off. Uh, nothing down here other than just a common pleco. So we won't even talk about that tank. Um, flower horn here, Colossus, he's doing well. Sorry about the glass, I didn't uh, clean my glass before turning on the camera here, which is a bummer. I always try to do that. I'm not sure if it's coming through, but there's, it's pretty streaky. He's doing good. The color seems to have, uh, the red has really seemed to come out a little bit more lately see in the profile shot there. Uh, 
down below we've got this Midas pair. When I say pair, I use that term loosely because they've never bred. They're not a proven pair. Here's the male. This is Cheeto's brother. And then the female over here. Guy's a beast. All right, moving on. Um, up here we've got the uh, red magma flower horn. Still doing well. Down here we've got the Sequia colony. Which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of these, move these on. They're great fish, but some of the things I'm wanting to do down here, I don't really have the room, so they're gonna be one of the first to go. But they're great, really like them. These males, two major male or two like uh, dominant males in here, just have these awesome little nuchal humps. Really cool little fish. They're a little skittish right now. Uh, next door here, we've got uh, one of the Hadiensis pairs. There's the male, there's the female. Still have not spawned for me, but they did spawn for Mike before I got them multiple times. So, just being patient on that. <clears throat> Up above here is the Moda pair. These are the Rio Blancos from Sean Hyden. They recently spawned, had a pretty big uh, clutch of fry, and uh, they ended up eating them all like they usually do. I don't pull fry on these guys because, uh, you know, if, if, if people want to get these, they can go directly to Sean. He's the guy when it comes to these motas, so. Um, he does, <laughs> his tail got pretty nipped up here from her, uh, boy that glare sucks, sorry. Um, recently, before their last spawn, so I'm just crossing my fingers that that's gonna grow back. You can see one little fry right there, trying to nibble on things, there's another fry. Another one. There's a few left in here, there's a few bigger ones from a prior spawn that seemed to hide down kind of in this rock area and um, I usually only see them like when I'm doing gravel vacs and stuff but anyway um, depending on when this comes out I've got a separate video on these two where it's just set to music uh, showing a big cloud of fry around them which is really cool so check that out if it's uh, not sure if it's before this video or after as far as my uploading I shoot a lot of these videos in advance and then schedule them to upload if that makes any sense so kind of sounds weird that I don't know when that video will come out but anyway look for it uh, over here are the red is latest same old story with them they're doing good no breeding she likes to hide out in this tube here which is fine keeps her from getting beat on he's doing well so is she. Down here is the other Hadiensis pair. Along with, uh, actually there's two pairs in here. One of them's proven, which is this pair. And they've actually spawned for me now. I don't know if there's any fry left. I didn't pull any and they slowly ate them. It was a smaller spawn, but since I put my other pair that's unproven in here, another male and female that kind of seemed to kick things off for them and they really bonded her color became almost 100 percent black his fins darkened up and then they spawned and uh so i think that helped bond them and so i'm just waiting for the next spawn at that time i might uh, pull some fry i don't know you can see over by that sponge filter way in the corner there's the other female poking her head up 
and then the other male here, he's a little beat on. But I, want, I needed to do something to get these guys to start spawning, and so that was uh, the answer. All right, umbies are doing great. This is uh, Optimus, obviously. Still uh, ornery as all heck. There's Matrix. Can't remember if it was before the last video or not, but they did spawn once, but the eggs were eaten uh, before they hatched, which is fine. I'm in no need of umbi fry right now. He's doing great. Love this fish. Down below is Orion and Artemis, the Dovi pair. They um, had a spawn. Not sure if it was before or after my last video. There's still some fry in here. He's just as amped up as always. She's been really coming at him lately too. I think she's getting ready. To, I think she might want to spawn again. She's been doing a lot of that, uh, trying to come up and lip lock with them, even though they don't ever touch. But she opens up her mouth and kind of comes at them. Maybe we can get him over here so you can see him a little better. See, when you're by the tank, he likes to go up by the surface. See, there she goes again. Ah, uh, moving on. Ooh, they're finally out. My feste pair. Look at that red. There's a male, and it's a female. She's healing up. Um, he beat on her a little bit. This is a proven pair that I got from uh, local friends, uh, Bob and James Randall. Um, they spawned quite a bit before I brought them home. They have not since I got them here, but hoping things will change. Um, they, uh, they like to hide quite a bit, but right now they're out, which is nice. I've got a few uh, dithers in here, which are um, blanking out. Heterospilus, that's <laughs> sorry about that. Boy, that male's nice looking today. And when she's colored up to her max, she's just unbelievable. So, hoping to get some spawning going with them soon. And we'll get them in a bigger tank at some point. And the Centrarchus are over here, they're healing up. A few people have asked if I want to get rid of these, and I may. Um, again, I'm going to be looking for a little bit of room coming up, so these may be ones that that go. Um, I was just given these to use as dithers. They were pretty beat up, but they are healing up a little bit, and they weren't working as dithers, so I put them in their own tank just to see what happens, and, and here we are. So. So that's really it for this tour. I'll do a separate shrimp update for everybody. Um, not a whole lot else is going on. I'm gonna try to get a video up too, just a, kind of an overview of my air system. Um, some people have asked about that. But other than that, that's really all I've got right now. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to get uh, all my updated videos. I try to do fairly regular update videos on all my tanks. I do shrimp as well, and also I have a reef tank. So, um, you know, check all that out. Um, but yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody that subscribes, and uh, we'll catch you later.